Hi there, I'm Daryl Williams from Python Bytes, and this is a continuation of the tutorial on how to build a website using Python module called Bottle Pie. Okay, so where we're up to is we've created, been able to add new items. Where the last uh, tutorial was getting each item and the back button doesn't work. There is no edit page but the back button doesn't work. Why is that? Well, if we look at the code on item, the function is go back open and close parentheses and this one here is no open close parentheses. Save that. Okay, so we go, we'll refresh, check that our server's running. Yes, it's running. Go here and we go back. Bingo, it works. You learn these skills of debugging. Uh, when you do programming all the time and you find mistakes and you either get an error here for instance you click that and you want to edit it's a 404 the page is not found that's because if we go here in our to do folder open views there is no edit task so that means we have to go into our server page okay so now we're showing our items we're creating new items and now we want to edit the items and this code's a little bit longer so we go at route open close parentheses single quotes edits no integer and we have a method equals square brackets double quote cap get comma double two single quotes post and we define a function and that is called edit underscore item and we get the variable no which is number actually the ID number so we go to do ID equals no simple Okay, if request if double click that if request cap post get save now the save if we look at here the name is called save right so that's what we're referring to if we go back here and up here where was it a new task we had saved there yeah that's the submit the name of the submit button is save okay so if request is a post with our edit uh, edit yeah edit form when we click edit and we give it, have an ID number alongside it this is get if it's save from which will be the um, edit task template form so if that save strip I believe that strips the new line 
in the code colon and we'll just copy that here paste that and then here I put to do date time equals copy that get post t date okay so we're not changing we're not providing a modified date we're just putting when we did the to do task because if you put a modified date it'll say oh that was only yesterday that I put the to do task up no 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 you did it two weeks ago mate okay then we go here we want to connect to the database now connect to the database and we occur execute execute and we are going to say update to do in cap set title equals question mark test or description equals question mark and dates time equals question mark and then we go where ID equals question mark which is our to do ID there A comma colon and then we go to do title comma to do description comma to do date copy that and then up the top here to do ID Now you're probably not familiar with how to use how to communicate with SQLite if it's a MySQL database then this code will be different so this is how uh, SQLite SQL requests or code is run okay so there's the title the variable for the title the description variable for description the date for the date to do ID where ID equals that okay and then we go con commit once again so that it will commit that change into the database and then we go here rows equals that again then we go return template return template index tpl Uh, where is it there? I could have just copied that, couldn't I? Okay. And where was that? There we go. Copy that. Edit. Cl 
close that and then we go else else we connect to the database again Just checking the code here, this one here. Down here, same one from to do where, da 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 da. And where do I get that? Fetch one. Record me is fetch one, return template, and in this one we call that edit task template, and in here no equals no. So that is the ID of the record and record equals record and there's the record there. Okay, and then we copy this one again. And that goes there. And there is our edit code. And we save that. Okay, I'll leave the tutorial here because we have to create the edit task template page. So, I'm Daryl Williams from Python Bytes. If you have any comments or any questions in relating to this video, please leave them on the YouTube page that this video is on. That way anyone who comes across these tutorials they may have the same question and if you put the question on underneath this video they'll be able to find the answer. Any comments and questions I'll respond to as soon as possible. I uh, hope you're enjoying the tutorials because I am I just love coding in Python. Really enjoyable. Okay, so till the next tutorial, enjoy and goodbye.